Okay, so if you are wanting to make a global message system inside of Roblox Studio, or you're just wondering how to make a global message in Roblox Studios, it's actually really, really easy. So starting off inside of Roblox Studios, first thing we're going to need to do is come on over to the replicated storage. Now, there are a few things we're going to need to make this work in the first hand, but obviously, if you have your own thing, you can make this work. Now, this does actually have two functions. So the first one is going to only allow it if you're an admin, which you can alter that. And I'll have all these codes on my website. Now, this will only work if you have the group own game and you have a role designated for admin and then you can alter that role or whatever and you have your own like roblox profile or your account id into like the list of admins so that this will actually work so if it doesn't it'll just deny it in the output so it won't work but so starting off we're going to come on over to replicated storage and we are going to create two remote events now the first one we are going to rename to global message and the second one we are going to rename it to admin global message now these two are necessary but the second thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the server script service right here server script service and we are going to create a script now this one is pretty simple also as a note all of the coding i'm using will be on my website linked in the description you can go check that out i'm just copy and pasting it over which you can do as well we're going to paste this one in and so this will have all this stuff now you can alter the ui with this code if you don't like the way it looks but the idea is you'll be in if you're an admin you can click f2 a little ui will appear and then you can type in whatever you want send it and it'll appear in every server now the second one we're going to come on down to the starter player and we're going to go to starter player scripts and we're going to create a local script we're going to paste in this one and now that that works we're going to test it real fast and then you click f2 and you'll get this obviously the ui is a bit um cramped which i'm going to fix later but we're going to type whatever we want send it and you will get this drop down and it'll go away after like five seconds and then as you see it also went through as a global message now if you're wanting to test this with multiple you can do this run a local server and have two accounts open at once so this will open up now say we're this account right here we're going to send as you see they both see it so works very well. Now, the other thing to note is if you are wanting to create it a bit different, you can just adjust the way the UI pops up. Or if you don't want the drop down, you can do something else that won't appear right here. And if you want something more like, obviously, you know, grow a garden or 99 nights in the forest they have their own ui that looks something different where it pops up right here so you can just change the ui in the scripts that are already pre-built right here so that it's just text rather than the whole drop down but that's pretty much it once again this will be on the website link in the description if you want to copy the code over and just use that but if this video helped you out make sure to leave a like and comment if you have any questions and i'll make sure to respond to them but